Hey guys, it is Megan. I just wanted to do this intro for this reading vlog. I am currently reading, oh my god, my hair is a mess, um, Where the Crawdads Sing by Della Owens, and it's from the library, and a lot of my books in January are gonna be from the library. I just wanted to help out my local library this, um, this month, and so, yeah, if you see this little barcode, it's, it's from the library. Um, so I'm only about 50 pages in, so I'm just going to tell you what I know so far. Um, and I'll be, like, updating you sporadically through the video. But I just wanted to first apologize for my last video. The lighting was terrible. I know that. But I was so antsy to get my 2021 reading wrap-up up already. And it was, like, only like already January 8th and so I was like I just need to get it out and so I like filmed it at like 8 p.m. so just know that that will not be happening anymore it's daylight out so I'm using day sunlight so yes um so the review for this um so I'm only about 50 pages in so far um from what I know so far it has a timeline of let's see here like 1969 it fluctuates from 1969 to 1952 yeah 1952 and so um it follows this girl kaya i think her whole name's like Catherine, but like they, everyone calls her kaya like k-y-a and basically she comes from like an abusive household she's a child of like like her ma and pa had five children and she's like the youngest out of the five and sporadically her mom leaves like on the first page and then her two older sisters leave and then her brother Jody leaves and then um like her, their father is like super abusive and so like basically Kai she goes into the woods and like she just tries to hide from her father and it's kind of like that that's all I kind of really know so far but it did jump to 1969 and basically there has been there was a body found and it was by chase andrews is the guy that the body like the person the name of the person the body was found um and so chase andrews is dead and that's all we know and so they're investigating that now and those are kind of like my, my favorite chapters as when you get like a little glimpse of like the investigation so far so we will just see where it goes and um i will continue to update you as i read there's an alliance forming between this new character that is mentioned Tate and Kaya Catherine whatever who however you want to pronounce her name so basically Kaya she ends up like borrowing her paws um boats while he is gone and for like four days he's going like out of town to talk to the army and while he's out of town she borrows his boat and remember he's kind of abusive so he cannot know about it and so anyways he she takes it to like the swamp like down towards the swamp and everything and a storm go comes in and basically she gets lost she doesn't know how to get back to where like her home is and she runs across this boy named tate and i think he's like 
two three years older than her and she's only met him like once but like she's hoping to like see him more he's like she's like i've never had a friend before i really just need this person in my life i need this boat in my life to have this freedom and i need this boy so i can have a friend you know and so i think like that's either like like the friendship maybe even more comes out but i gotta think about it this way um they because it keeps on going back to like 1952 and then 1962 or like let's see 1969 and then 1952 so it's like during this time in 1952 when she first meets tate and so they're obviously not going to be like become like anything like a relationship because she's only like at se seven this in this time frame and then probably in 1969 maybe she'll like they'll form a more bond but i think like for right now obviously it's just gonna be a friendship but i just want to update you guys on that also guys i just wanted to mention that this book is set in north carolina so if i am like saying like pa or ma or something like that it's because i am reading it as if like like I'm putting myself in like the main character's position and kind of just like reiterating that. So if I say ma or pa, I mean like dad and mom, you know, but um, it's just like written like that, like in that North Carolina, Carolina accent. So if I say some weird words, just know it's like North Carolina accent. Hey guys, so I'm on page 110 now, chapter 17. So Kaya is now 14 and Tate is now 18. And what you gonna call it? They formed like a friendship, I guess. Like he kept on leaving like bird feathers like on like a tree stump, and then like she kept on excuse me, she kept on like returning the favor, and then Tay offered to teach her how to read because she doesn't know how to read yet and so they're forming a bond over that and also she found a way to make money basically she goes to this guy named Jumpin which he's a black guy and during this time obviously in North Carolina like they still had like separate schools like for the colored and the white obviously you know that's bs but you know that's just how it was um but so she forms also a bond with jump in which is basically like um like a owner of a market and basically he like gets her gas and like they trade like mussels um like she picks mussels out of the creek and they trade them for like gas or food or whatever and they kind of form a sh friendship over that and he ends up actually his wife, Mabel, actually, like, gets her, like, clothes and, like, soap and everything. And it's just such a wholesome um, friendship that they have. And, yeah, I think that's all the updates I have so far. But I just wanted to let you know. Um, it time jumped, f like, since she was, like, seven last time I talked to you guys. And then it's time, dump time jumped to when she was 10. And then now she's 14. So I just wanted to give you a quick update because I felt like there was so much happening. And you know i haven't told you guys also her dad her pa left and so now she's literally alone and so she's trying to like not um like cause attention to herself i guess because there's literally no family there and she's still like un like not legal age i guess although i don't know what legal age was back in like the 1960s but um yeah so she's just all on her own and so she's just trying to fend for herself and that hence why she's going to like make money for herself she's bringing in smoked fish like that she caught she's bringing in mussels so she can get like all the necessities that she needs and so it's just such a wholesome story watching her grow up from six years old to seven to ten to fourteen and it's just gonna get better Okay, hey guys, back with another update. I took off my sweatshirt, by the way. Um, so I am on page, let's see. Um, like 
like 149 and so a lot has happened since the last time I talked to you guys so Tate and Kai they ended up kissing um and she was like um so am I your girlfriend now because like she's at she's 14 at this time and he is I think 18 and so he's like and she's like am I your girlfriend now because like this is obviously her first kiss like you know and he's like do you want to be and she's like yes and he's like well you might be a little too young and she's like well um like I know about feather like bird, bird feathers and the other girls probably don't and he's like okay then and then they kissed again and it was so wholesome and so anyways and then so from then on they were like living happily and everything but then kind of came to an end and basically um he had to go to college because obviously he's like four years older than um kaya and so he said that he would be back on the fourth of july he never showed up and so now her heart is locked up and yeah and also if mabel or jump in dies in this book i'm gonna be so upset and so sad because jump in when like the social services came around he was like yeah i haven't seen kaya's bow i don't know if she's in school like her paw's still around like kind of just covering up for her and so if it comes back to bite her and him like he might like because he's colored people he might like have to like go down for that and like i am just like i can't do that because they're such wholesome people I just can't. And also, Mabel. Sorry, this is a car. Anyways, Mabel is so sweet. Like, literally, um, Kaya, one day, she's like, she started her period because she was almost 15. And she's like, um, Kaya, like, boated all the way to Jump In's market and was like, I need to see Mabel. And, like, she, like, Mabel walked her through it, how to use all these, like, tampons and pads or whatever they had in the 1960s and it was just such a wholesome moment because she didn't like kaya obviously doesn't have her mom anymore and nor any family so like mabel was like and jumping was like the closest thing to family and tate and now like she's locked her heart up because tate didn't come on the fourth of july so now she's barely talking to jump in or mabel or anything like that she just goes in there to ha like get her necessities and it's just so heartbreaking and now um i'm on part two it's called the swamp and it jumps all the way till when she's 19 and basically i feel like and i this is a, like my conspiracy but i'm already calling it i haven't jumped ahead or anything but i'm just gonna think that maybe kaya and um what's his name chase andrews i think that's what his name is the one that like wound up dead um let me see yeah chase andrews i'm gonna say that maybe kaya like maybe after all these years she tries to open up her heart again to this guy chase andrews even though he's married and i think that maybe that like they start forming a relationship maybe a friendship even though he's like really like this white rich person but and then i feel like tate is gonna come back from college or something and like like tate murdered chase andrews maybe and like left no like evidence of it so that's just my conspiracy but i don't know yet and um yeah i guess we'll just see <laughs> so i'm on page 217 now and so much has happened since the last time i updated you last time i updated you basically tate had just kissed kaya our main character and he was going off to college so yeah 
and then he ended up saying that he was gonna come back on 4th of July he never did and so he didn't break up with her he didn't do anything he just left her there and like five years come along and he decides to show up and he decides to apologize all this stuff but Kai is with um Chase Andrews and he Chase Andrews is literally the definition of a pile of shit basically he bribed her into like like he's like yeah I can't wait to get married all this stuff and just to like have sex with her like to steal her virginity and then she found out that he was cheating on her the whole time through a newspaper like she turned the newspaper and it was like Chase Andrews engaged to blah 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 and so obviously they're not together anymore and if they get back together I'm gonna be like Kaya you're so dumb but Tate tried to warn her that because like Kaya obviously doesn't go into town that often and she doesn't see Chase that much like in person like in town and so like obviously she doesn't know what he does like when she's not when he's not around her and so Tate tried to warn her and obviously she didn't want to listen because she was still mad at Tate for leaving her for you know five years because he went to college and he didn't come back he didn't break up with her or anything and it went to his perspective for like a second and he's like i just want her to forgive me like if she'll have me i just want to let her know that i would marry her and like you could just see how regretful tate is for being such a chicken shit and just not being honest with her and just leaving there waiting for him to come back and like out of the two boys i would still pick tate because one they have so much in common you can see how regretful he is for not telling her and you can just see just how in love with her she is and then chase andrews is just literally a pile of crap and literally just bribed her into like yeah let's get married and yeah we'll marry someday just to have sex with her and steal her virginity and then also it keeps on jumping back to like the investigation of like the murder of chase andrews and so kaya gave chase andrews like this necklace with um this shell on it and it um it was gone in like the murder investigation like he wore it like every single day and it wasn't there and so now everything is like leading to kaya and i and so she's like the main suspect but i honestly do not believe it was kaya and so right now it's like 1968 so like a year before the investigation because it keeps on jumping back and forth and i'm just like what is happening i don't know what's happening so i don't know i feel like either kaya either did it or tate did it or maybe like the wife did it like the one that is married to chase andrews actually and maybe like she found out or something i don't know but like it's so intriguing i love it so much okay i feel like every update that i tell you guys i'm always like oh my god there's so much to tell you but literally there's so much to tell you so last time i left off basically chase andrews and kaya they broke things off because kaya found out that chase andrews was cheating on her and then like it was like a year later or so chase andrews finds kaya in like the marsh and like he tries to have his way with her like rape her and like he like he start she started like kicking him in the balls and then like kicking him in the back and like two of these seamen um like saw her like run away with like her shorts down and everything and then now it keeps on jumping back to um the investigation that chase andrew's dead and basically kaya is like the main suspect and basically they have nothing on her like literally there's no fingerprints no footprints in like the investigation there is no dna at all like literally all they have is like this like red like fiber in his jacket but like back then they couldn't see if it was like from four years ago or like that night that he died and they had chase andrews and kaya had relations like four years prior because like they were together at that time but um yeah so so there's no way of telling if she was even there that night and plus there was like bus tickets saying that she was out of town that night anyways and there was no hair part particles of like her hair or anything so literally there's nothing on her but like they're still trying to like get her to like confess and everything and like literally no there's no one 
and so my thing is like was it actually kaya and like there's like no like when i'm reading there's like no like suspicion like suspicious like writing like maybe where she could have actually killed him like none of the characters are giving off like killer vibes like kaya like i guess i could see her killing him if she was like if he tried to come on to her again but then like tate i guess i could see him also killing her him as well because of like he might have just like because kate tate found like out that chase andrews like punched her in the eye and um so like he was obviously mad about that so maybe he did and then jump in like also saw that chase punched um kaya in the eye and so he's like so that could have also like those are the only two people that knew about like the punching and like all that but i'm just like who did it like no one's giving off killer vibes so i have no idea and i have like sit not even like 50 pages left and like i still don't know who who killed who and i'm like is kaya gonna get convicted and also the judge was like if you were like if you are known as guilty in this in this case we are trying to do the death penalty for you so like if she's convicted she will go like be dead and so i'm just like oh my goodness please don't also guys i forgot to mention as well that jody which is her closest sibling came back he ended up going to the army and he did two tours in nam and also the army paid for him to get his college education doing um mechanic engineering and um also jody gave the news to kaya that her mom had passed away two years prior um she was physically and mentally ill and um she didn't even realize her mom didn't even realize that she had left her kids until like a year later and was like in hysterics and then tried to write to kaya but at that point like um kaya's dad like looked at the letter and instantly just threw it in the fire excuse me and so yeah i just want to update you guys on that that actually one of her siblings came back and um they exchanged like their addresses and phone numbers and it was like such a wholesome thing but i just wanted like okay guys this book right here the author is brilliant okay like she had me wrapped around her finger the whole time so sum it up pretty like simply for you guys kaya did not get convicted of murdering chase andrews right after the trial um tate's father scupper i think his name is passed away and that was really sad and then also a couple years like i don't even know probably like a couple years later jumpin died and i told you guys earlier i'm like if jumpin dies bro i'll be devastated he did end up dying but he did die peacefully it was just in his sleep no one like actually murdered him or anything and so yeah kaya wasn't able to go to the funeral though because she just couldn't handle it um but she did go to Mabel's house and they like embraced each other and Mabel was like he thought of you as her your his own daughter and all this stuff and it was just like so sweet and Tate and Kaya they lived a happy life and so basically this is where it gets juicy so Kaya died when she was like 64 and literally everyone from the town came to her funeral and tate was like like in her his head he's like kaya would never believe this unless he saw unless she saw with her, her own eyes that the whole whole town actually came for her because came to her funeral because like no one liked her in the town and everything um but really she was just this poor girl trying to survive you know and um and then so basically after the funeral um he noticed like this wood cut out I guess and Kaya used to write poems and as well as books but poems and there was like this poem and basically underneath the poem was Chase Andrews um shell necklace and so literally 
she convinced the jurors, <laughs> the judge, everyone, that she did not commit this murder, lived a happy life, and then Tate, her husband, found the necklace after so many years. So I don't know what to believe. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like that, but like honestly, go Kaya. Like honestly, Chase Andrews was definition of crap. But anyways, that wraps up my reading vlog for this. I definitely gave this five out of five stars. This author is absolutely amazing. Like they had me like so starstruck. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this reading vlog, if you guys want to see more of these, um, please like and comment down below to let me know which other books I can do reading vlogs on and if you haven't already please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.